Oh my god, this is one creepy room. Who's down here with me? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. What the fuck? <gasps> That's a tricycle! That's a tricycle! Oh my god! What the fuck? It's like up against the wall! Oh my god, that is terrifying. There must be like a child down here. Could you move that tricycle again? It was like right in the middle of the floor, I think. Because I remember bumping into it. I guess we'll go up to it. Duality 9Xers and kids and paranormal entities around the world. Welcome to Duality 9X. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just having a little bit of fun here. Listen, it's it's a Friday. Um, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's the end of the work week, right? And it gives people the opportunity to just sit back, relax, strap in, get your seatbelt on because they want to watch. People like you want to watch some great videos. And uh, so today I'm going to actually feature... Uh, the Midwest Ghost Hunter. Now, I've been wanting to feature this for quite some time. And uh, again, another shout out to Holly uh, from Langley, BC. And today I'm going to feature the Midwest Ghost Hunter. You guys are going to love this guy's content. And, you know, uh, obviously if you guys like, uh, you guys like and hear what you see, which I know you will, uh, the links to the original video and the links to this gentleman's channel will be in the description. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. All I'm asking for is a little favor from, from, from you Duality 9Xers. You know, if, if you guys are new to the channel, please smash the like and subscribe because it helps grow our channel. And if you guys are returning uh, subscribers, please share a comment guys tell me what you guys think about this content because i want to make sure that the, the 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 videos that we're showcasing are are the kind of videos that you guys like and i i work really hard and and thanks to the many subscribers who are sending the recommendations um you know it's content like that and it's feedback like that that helps us be able to determine what kind of videos we want to showcase for you guys so without further ado Let's get it going, guys. So you know the drill. Grab your beverage. Let's get it. Any Eckhart. Are you the voice that I heard earlier? <gasps> what? What is that? Oh my god. Hello? Is there anybody upstairs? <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck? If there's any children in here, could you move one of these toys? What the heck was that? <gasps> Oh my god. It's right there. It's like a shadow. Oh, oh wow. Heart attack. Oh my god. That rocky horse just moved. Greetings, friends. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter. And I am currently driving through the snowy land of Minnesota to visit a haunted house where an entire family of ghosts are still residing. I've investigated this place before, and the last time I was there, I got a lot of good results. So I thought it would be a good idea to go back and see what else would happen. I'm going to be staying the night there by myself, as always. Uh, and honestly, it never gets any easier to doing this. But I do it for you guys, because you guys <laughs> seem to get like these easier. videos a lot. And I do enjoy doing these videos as stressful and as scary as they can be. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, like the video if you enjoy it, and comment your thoughts on anything that goes down. So I have officially arrived at the Boyd house. And damn, it hasn't gotten any less creepy. Wow, just looking at the place and just being in person. It feels like there are people just staring at me right now through the windows. But anyways, I'm gonna head inside and I'm gonna give you the rundown of the history and the hauntings, and then we're gonna start the investigation. The Boyd House. The Boyd House was built in 1901 on land formerly owned by the North and Pacific Railroad. The first residents were department store owner Fred and his wife, Minnie Eckhart. 
In life, they would have a total of 11 children. However, four of them would pass away prematurely. As they grew older, Minnie would pass away from a stroke in 1955, and Fred would pass away peacefully within the home in 1958. Since that time, there have been reports of supernatural happenings within the home. The most frequent reports are strange sounds such as phantom footsteps, knocking sounds on the walls, disembodied voices, and old-fashioned music playing from thin air. The ghost of Minnie Eckhart has been seen and heard throughout the house, as if she had never left. The spirit of Fred Eckhart is said to watch over guests in the master bedroom, often tugging on their blankets as they sleep. Numerous ghostly children have been heard giggling out loud and moving dolls on their own. In one of the toy rooms, there hangs a cursed painting of a monkey. It is said that the previous owner lost his mind shortly after acquiring it, driving him to take his own life. All right, guys, I'm just about to start my investigation. I'm just getting my equipment ready. I'm going to be filming with two night vision cameras here. Oh, this cool. one is going to watch <laughs> my back as I walk around with this one right here. I walk around with this camera. I've also got a K2 meter. This measures EMF, which spirits are said to be made up of. And I'm also going to be recording on a voice recorder at all times. And I'm going to be listening in on these headphones. I'm going to be wearing them like this. That way if I catch any EVPs that I otherwise wouldn't hear, I will hear them through the headphones. All right, I'm all set up. It is time to go dark. It's time to go dark, baby. Hello? Is anybody here? I don't know if you remember me, but I visited here before, not too long ago. If you remember me, could you give me a sign? Minnie or Fred Eckhart? Are you here? Oh no, he's calling upon the original owners. I'm in your lovely of home. The house. Are you okay with me visiting? If you can hear me, could you make a sound somewhere in this house? It's awfully quiet in here to start. Mm -hmm. I'm not really feeling any. Oh. Oh, you heard that, guys. What the hell that? was that? It was a Hello? woman's voice. Oh, oh my god, that sounded like a woman's voice. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it through the headphones. It sounded like it was coming from in there. Minnie, was that you? Could you speak again? A disembodied voice emanates from the parlor room and sounds like it is saying, I'm not really feeling any. I'm not really feeling any. I'm not really feeling any. Yikes. I think I heard somebody in here. Minnie, was that you? What's interesting about this spot here, her funeral was actually held here. And her casket would have been right about here. And it was there for three days. Minnie, you don't have to be shy. I'd just like to speak with you. Yeah, I don't know, that was weird. I heard like a woman's voice in here. I couldn't make out what she was saying, but it was fully vocalized, like a real person was in here. 
and yes, of course, as you can see, there's nobody here. So that's crazy. Now I know I heard somebody in here earlier. It sounded like a woman. If you are indeed here and I'm not going crazy, could you touch this green light that's on the table? That might you can be use whatever challenge. energy you need. You can use energy from me, from my cameras. <gasps> okay. Wow. Okay, I'm getting chills suddenly. Whoa. Is your name <laughs> Minnie Eckhart? Are you still here? Are you still living in your home? If you are Minnie Eckhart, could you touch that green light again? <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. No That's way. what I figured. Are you the voice that I heard earlier? Or was that somebody else? Was that voice you? Yes. Minnie, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yes. Okay. My first question, Minnie, is are you aware that you have passed away? You're no longer living. Whoa. Okay. So then, why do you stay here? Why don't you pass on to the next life? Is there a next life? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. So then why are you still here? Are you stuck here? Or do you just like it here? Yes. Okay. Well, I can definitely understand why. This is a lovely home. And you've lived here a long time. I understand. Is Fred... Okay, well... I heard that. It was a knock. You guys probably heard Minnie, that. Minnie, was that you? Did you just make a sound? It's like a tap on a wall. If that was you, could you... Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I heard that. That was right behind oh me. Oh my god. <laughs> that just Thank you. Alright, Minnie, I'm oh, hearing you all around me right man. now. What? What is that? Oh my god! What the hell? That's like a radio! But how? I am spooked by an old radio turning on by itself. You can actually hear the knob twisting as it is being activated. Wow. What? What? Sounds like it's changing stations. It's still on, but it's not making noise. And, and, and it's like oh an God, old stack coming in more. Like... Hello? Yeah. <gasps> no oh. way. <gasps> oh, come on. A voice come just on. came through. What the hell is going on? Did you hear that? A voice. There was a Hello? voice that came from the static wave. Could you speak again? Unbelievably, a ghostly woman's voice breaks through the radio static. Was this the spirit of Minnie Eckhart delivering a message you guys, you got, from the we other hear this side? All the time, right? Like, There's always this paranormal like things that Dude, like, like to communicate what the hell? Via, something like, would have had to turn this. Radio waves somehow. Look at works, Yeah, like but... something would have had to turn that knob. Wow. Oh my god, the knob was turned all the way on this wow. thing. How you would have to Wow. I feel like I'm losing my mind. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Man, good this job, thing just good turned job. on by itself. And something would have to turn the knob all the way. It was almost pretty much all the way maxed. Minnie, did you just turn this radio on? If he did, could you turn it on again? Oh, 
Oh man, come on. I guess not. Basement. Hello? I'm coming down. For anyone that may be down here. I forgot my flashlight. What? Yes. Um, it's like the number one thing you should always remember is a flashlight. If you ever do this. Oh, this sucks. It is like pitch black down here. Is anybody down here? My name is Ian. Is there anybody down in this basement with me? So I said he goes by, like, he goes by Ian, but I think his name is Phil. I don't know. I heard that his name was Phil, but is let's Is anyone call back him here? Ian. Oh, what the hell was that? Hello? Sound came from back over here. If that was you, could you make another sound? No. Back. Oh, that's creepy. Hello. Oh my god, this is one creepy room. Who's down here with me? Holy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? What? <gasps> That's a tricycle. That's a tricycle. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's like up against the wall. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Something moved that bike. Something it must be that like a child down here. To, from one end Could to the other. Could you move that tricycle again? It was like right in the middle of the floor, I think. Because I remember bumping into it. Goosebumps, guys. Nice into goosebumps. it. Hello? Whoever moved this tricycle, could you move it again? If it moves again, I don't know if I'm going to stay down here. Especially if it comes towards me. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, no, yeah. not really. I'm gonna stay. You don't have to tell me twice. You moved it before, and that was wonderful. <laughs> I'm already in the car. But can you move it a second time? That's a challenge. I'm challenging you. Something definitely would have had to have moved that tricycle. There's no way that would have done that by itself. I mean, just look. So you have to actually push this thing to get it to move. Yes. See, it was a tricycle. I mean, how do you explain that? <gasps> Whoa! Ooh, okay, that was a child's voice. Oh, come on. Did you just speak? I'm freaking myself out now. Hello? That is a creepy room. Amazingly, an intelligent voice of a little boy takes credit for moving the tricycle just moments ago. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's All right, so I'm gonna walk around the house. And I'm gonna do some photography and see if I can get any strange anomalies. If there's anyone in here could you show yourself to me? Minnie, are you still in here? Could you appear by that radio? That you turned on earlier? Weird. I got like an orb like right next to it. It's gone. That was interesting. Could you appear by the radio? Damn, I still can't get over that from earlier. That radio turning on. That was so insane. 
That's just crazy, guys. Is there anybody upstairs? Oh, I thought I heard a creak up there. Hello? Oh, whoa, what the f***? Oh, Dude, my it's a shadow. Holy shit. Wow. It's right up here. Hello? There was somebody standing like right there. Who's up here? I just saw somebody here. There was literally a dark you man. You guys saw it. You standing guys saw at the top it. It was of these a shadow steps. figure. I saw it in the flash. The flash of the camera. I'm looking. I'm going to look and see if I can find it. Yeah. Oh my god, what the f is that? Dude, it's right there. It's like a shadow. I caught that in the photo. I managed oh. to capture this photo of a dark humanoid mass standing at the top of the staircase. Notice how the figure is transparent and possesses non-physical qualities. Was this the spirit of Fred Eckhart staring me down from above? Fred, is that you? Are you watching me? I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go up there. Okay, Fred. I'm coming up. Oh, that was a loud thump up there. Is it okay for me to come up there? Guess I'll find out. Just breathe, just breathe. Whoa, it looks like there was something there in that room. Hello? Are you up here? He would have been standing right here. Yeah. Right at the top of this steps. I've got chills all over my body. I can barely take it. into the master bedroom. This is where Fred has been seen the most. Fred, I'm in your room. If you're in here, that could you make room. a sound? This is a beautiful room. Is it okay that I'm laying here? Although nothing's happening, I got the unnerving feeling I'm being watched. I've been having that feeling ever since I got up here. Who was the shadow man? Was that you, Fred? I certainly hope it was. Rather him than some demon or something. Where are you right now? You are you in this room? Device, right? Where they can press the button, to speak like the to green you. button. That's it. I... Or press the button that shows a green light that they're actually physically acknowledging them. Oh yeah, there's, you could hear, there's footsteps. Oh my god, what the fuck? Those were footsteps. And they were walking towards here. You can clearly hear faint disembodied footsteps slowly making their way to the master bedroom. Oh, moly! Fred, are you out there? I heard you walking. Did you walk up to this doorway? Are you somewhere in this room? Holy shit! No way, Oh my god! No! Okay. Holy moly. That was loud. Somebody just pounded on that door. Oh my god. I feel like he's getting like agitated with me. That did not sound friendly. All right, Fred. I'm gonna let you have this room back. 
I'm just gonna grab my camera, okay? Look, his camera's by the chair, facing the bed. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to retreat, but I just do not feel wanted in that room. What? No, wait, a door just shut. No way, guys. dude, that was the door. My, the goosebumps oh. are just, that's just crazy. No. He just shut the door on me. How the fuck do you explain that? It is my belief that the shadow figure at the top of the stairs may have been Fred Eckhart himself, and this was his spirit escorting me out of his room. But I just do not feel wanted in that room. What? In that room. What? In that room. What? Oh man. And it's only 1 a.m. Okay. All that within a couple the hours. Children's room. Oh, this is the children's room. anybody in here? The old dollhouse. Watch my video, creepy There's dolls, guys. There's any children in here. Could you move There's one of these toys? There's some creepy dolls here for sure. You can move any of the ones in front of the dollhouse? You can move any of those toys back by that chair? Heck, you can even move this doll right here. Could you move that duck? Oh, that looks like an old, old toy. <gasps> what the heck was that? It's like a little, uh... That was like a straight up music box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to be in here anymore. Oh my god. Could you make that go off again? Whatever that was? Was that a music box? No way. Oh my Ian, god. Get out of there, man. Holy moly. Ian. Get out of there. This Don't do this to freaky. yourself. Don't do this to yourself. Just get out. I turn see if away I can while find you have music time. Box is. Is it over here? Is playing around here. No, I don't see oh, look at that like dog. I don't know what, what that came from. <gasps> Whoa. That was right here. Which one of them was it? Is it one of the dolls? What the heck? Oh my gosh. It was her. It was her. Holy crap. I found it. She's the one that's been going off. It's like a crank up doll. Oh my gosh. Huh. Now the question is, who the heck was making that go off? How is that even possible, guys? I'm How it was you. is that even possible? She looks suspicious. <laughs> it's tough to say whether or not this phenomenon is paranormal. However, this would be the only time the doll would trigger. Was this one of the phantom children haunting the Boyd house? You know, I never actually went in here yet. Oh man, he actually opened that. <gasps> oh. Whoa! What? What? What the heck? I just heard like a... I just heard like a voice. Hello? A faint little girl's voice can be heard coming from the closet just as I am opening the door. That was like right when I opened this closet. Oh. Is there someone in here? Thought I may have heard. Someone? Ooh, it is cold in here. Holy. Is there somebody in here? Ooh, I get the chills in there. Something's weird about that closet for sure.
I just captured this white mist-like form floating in the closet. Oh, wow. Little did I know something quite shocking was about to occur. Oh, what the? What was that? Who's in here? Hello? I feel like something's missing. Look at... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude! A freaking doll just got knocked over! What? Look at! Right there! Holy crap! Oh god, do I dare, dare grab it? Oh, of course I have to grab it. Ugh. Of course I have to grab it. Oh, man. Oh, that's like a clown. Ooh, that's a creepy doll. I don't like that. He was like right there, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure he was. Did you just tip over that clown doll? Could you move him again? Oh my god. That was creepy. That doll just tipped over. Like, how do you explain that? Like, it was pretty much on there. I'm pretty sure it was, if I remember, but I'd have to look back at the footage. I mean, there's a chance that maybe it was like precariously sitting there, but I don't know. I feel like if all that time went by and it didn't move or budge, and then like suddenly now it just tips over, I mean, that's kind of, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look really close at the footage. Unfortunately, I don't think I caught it because I, I think I was filming in this direction. Although I did not capture the clown doll moving on video, I did snap this photo of it being dragged off of the shelf. What's even stranger is that this fog-like aura seems to be surrounding it. Yeah. Could this be the spiritual energy of a ghost moving this doll? Wow, 2 a.m. guys, we're getting close to the witching right. hour. I think this is the room I've been dreading the most. Why is he dreading going in this room? So he's obviously been here before. There it is. Oh, this, this is the painting. painting. Supposedly a malevolent By the way, entity. watch my last video on to paintings. This thing. Haunted, the most haunted Supposedly paintings and owner, objects. There's a guy who found it on the side of the road. He picked it up and things just went south for him. Like he, he would he would stare at the painting. He fell into this deep depression, which is unlike him, apparently. And uh, he ended up shooting himself, which is horribly tragic. You can read the whole story here. If I can get a good shot of it. I'm trying to get it for you guys. I can't get a good shot of it, but I'll put a graphic up. If you want to read it, you can. You can get the whole spiel of what happened. We acquired this painting from a woman who was desperate to get rid of it. Her husband found it on the side of the road, propped it up next to a tree exactly like the one in the painting. I've heard rumors that this painting is cursed and that there is a spirit, a malevolent spirit, attached to it. Is that true? And if you're in here, could you make a sound to well, let me don't know? Don't ask for things that you know you don't want to hear. I heard you drove a man to suicide. Is that true? It's messed up, if that's true. Why would you do such a thing? Such a horrible thing. Are you a human spirit? Are you a demon? What are you? I came from above. All these bugs are you upstairs? Are like either around him or in another room. Yeah, something, something's definitely up there. I swear to God, I keep hearing shit up there. Hello? I don't want to cut 
this room short, but there's stuff going on up there. And I don't know. I'm not really feeling much in here at the moment. If this painting is cursed and there is something attached to it, I'm not sensing it right now. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's not true. Yeah, I better check out what's going on upstairs. Oh, God. Am I really going to go up here? I have to. So he's going, he's going in the attic. Oh my gosh. Hello? Here he goes. Who's up here? I heard somebody up here. Could Look, you show the yourself? Are like facing each other. Whoa! Oh, I just seen something. I just saw like a light. I just saw like a glow. Holy! Was it in there? It's right, right over here, just flying right by. I wonder if it's more children. I don't know. I just got that vibe for some reason. There's another one. Holy. They're so quick. Oh. I seen you. Oh my God. Holy crap. Hey man. Ian. Sound like the window. You gotta go. Oh, that nearly gave me a heart attack. It sounded like a on the window. Wow. But this is the third floor. So there's no way like somebody would be outside. Yeah. It'd be impossible. Okay from this. There's like dolls everywhere, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. My camera just died. I did have it going for a while, to be fair, so I don't think that was paranormal. But that, that was, and those lights. I was unable to capture these strange light anomalies. However, I was about to capture something truly astonishing. I'm gonna run and get a new battery, and I'm gonna come right back up here. The witch Could you show power. yourself again? Just like you did? I want to see if I can capture that light on camera. You can appear wherever you like. Are you still up here? Oh. Whoa. I heard that. Could you make that sound again? Okay, thank you. I'm glad you're still up here. I'd hate to be alone. Could you show yourself? As a light? Just like you did? What the? I thought I saw something behind me. Is anybody over here? How many spirits are up here? It seems like there's 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 at least a few. <gasps> no way! What? Look! No way! Dude, that thing was just moving! Oh my god! That rocky horse just moved! Could you move it again? Oh. Dude, I think I might have caught that on camera. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. In this shocking piece of footage, you can see the rocking horse rocking back and forth completely wow. by itself. Wow. I have absolutely no explanation for this phenomena whatsoever.
It is my belief that this was once again another ghostly child haunting the Boyd house. Yeah, and that wasn't even Could you just move like a time? subtle movement. That was like Are you riding this the horse is going horse? back and forth. Ride the rocking horse just like you did. Yeah. That so was you amazing. Can't, you can't blame it on wind or like, you know. Oh my God. A window open Chilled. and it's a gust of wind came Ooh. in and blew it. No. I gotta take a look at that. The windows are behind this guy. Holy crap. I feel like if that thing moves again, I'm gonna piss myself. Holy crap. There's no way. There's no way. Look at this thing. It was moving just like that. That is so crazy. Oh my God. I can't believe I just saw that. Thank you for moving this. Is there anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> Again, be careful what you ask for, Ian. Yeah. I thought I, thought I heard tapping. No? <sighs> All right, guys, I think that's it calling in at night. It's about six in the morning right now. You probably can't tell because it's still dark out, but um, yeah, what a wild night this was. Holy crap. Tons of activity this time. More than last time. This place definitely did not disappoint. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment your thoughts on Everything that went down, you got it, man. And if you haven't already, consider We're subscribing. We're showing this to the world, Ian. We're hitting showing that this notification to the world. Notification bell uh, as well. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to get at least a little bit of sleep uh, before I have to drive all the way back home. Anyways, I hope to see you guys on the next investigation. Wowzers, guys! I mean, holy smokes, guys! That was just. I, I'm just at a loss of words like I think that was probably probably one of the scariest one of the most natural organic like house visits that like haunted house visits that I've seen in quite some time and here's Ian walking through this old house the Boyd house he's been there before uh, he said this time there was a lot more activity a lot more paranormal activity than there was the first time that he visited this place and the, one of the places that he felt was going to be probably one of the scariest turned out to be the least exciting or the least amount of activity it was the stuff that was happening in the attic and then of course catching that shadow figure on camera um and then how the the radio turning on like by itself like you saw he went to that old antique radio and he had to turn the switch. He had to turn the knob and, you know, somebody, somebody did that. Somebody did that. Eerie supernatural activity in a haunted house. Wow. That was incredible. Guys, listen. The, 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 links to the, the, the links to this video, the links to Ian's channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, it's all going to be in the description. Thank you, Holly, again for, uh, you know, for the referral, uh, for the recommendation. And listen, if you guys, if you guys have a video out there, if there's something that you guys want me to react to, please email me. Emails in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description or, or send it in the comments, guys. Just comment on the video and say, hey, by the way, check this out. And I'll do my best to kind of get around to it. Uh, and if I get a chance to, to air that video on, on this channel, I'm going to give you a shout out as well too. So, guys, I hope you guys like that one. I had a great time. I always have a great time when I get a chance to, to react to videos for you guys. Um, there's lots of exciting things uh, happening real soon. We're probably going to do some live streams. We're going to get an opportunity to uh, get, get a chance to interact with you guys. Maybe some meet and greets. Uh, We've got we've got some fans, we've got some subscribers, we've got some some people all around the world, right? Uh, some people have been reaching out from as far away as like the Netherlands, from Europe. We've got California in the house. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of lots of exciting folks. So I, I hope I get a chance to to get to know you guys a little bit better. But listen, that's all the time that we had today. So in the meantime, and in between time, don't do anything crazy to yourself. And I can't wait till our next adventure. 
I look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Please stay safe, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.